Happy birthday, Anna. I've made you a cake. Oh, Elsa, it's beautiful. How'd you cook that? Anne on YouTube showed me. Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon. And to make a frozen fever birthday cake, you will need three sponge cakes cooled and leveled. And you can see the recipe video for them on the howtocookthat.net website and the frosting recipe quantities are there too. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. We will leave one sponge cake full sized and then we need three smaller cakes and I'm going to use bowls to help me cut them the right size. Cut the middle sized one out first and then using the leftover part of that sponge cake cut out two pieces to make up the smaller circle cake. Then cut around the bigger bowl so you end up with four different sized cakes. Sift the icing sugar or powdered sugar to get rid of any lumps and then melt your butter or margarine in the microwave. Pour that into the icing sugar and mix it through really well. Now, because your butter is not white, it turns your icing that yellowy color. If we add blue to that, we'll get green and we don't want green. So I'm gonna add some white food coloring first and then some blue. Once you're happy with that, put that to one side and in another bowl, add your compound white chocolate and some cream. Now you wanna heat that in the microwave in 30 second bursts, stirring it each time until it's melted and smooth like this. Then add the blue frosting to that and mix the two together and your frosting is ready. Put a small bowl or a cup on a plate and then add one of your cakes on top. Pour some warmed frosting over it and just let it drip down the sides of the cake. If there are gaps, just add more frosting and let it drip down. Once it's cooled, take a spatula and add a bit more frosting around the edges just to smooth it out and we'll add another layer in a moment. Scrape up all that excess frosting that's dripped onto the plates and warm it up again to make it liquid. Then pour it through a sieve to get rid of any cake crumbs that came off the cake when you did that first layer. Now we want the frosting to be warm enough to be liquid but not hot or it's just going to melt our first layer of frosting off the cake. Pour it over the top just like we did the first time and this second layer just helps to get the frosting really smooth. Now it's not as smooth as if you used cold whipped frosting and you spread it out using your spatula and leveled it all out but because this cake is quite small and it has so many details on it you're really not going to see it anyway and this is just much quicker. In the movie this is an ice cream cake and if you want to make an ice cream cake you can follow the directions on the Fault in Our Stars video and you can find that on youtube.com backslash how to cook that. Once it sets, trim off any drips and then stack your four cakes on top of each other. Now make up some royal icing and pipe it around to cover the joins where the cake joins the next one. Just squeeze and drag, go back, squeeze, stop, drag, go back and continue doing that for each layer of cake. Then using a small star shaped tip, pipe little stars around the top. Start low, squeeze, stop, pull up, start low, squeeze, stop and pull up and add those around the top edge of each layer of cake. Now using a small round tip, pipe semicircles. Attach it at the top, pipe and pull away from the cake, letting the frosting just hang down, and then bring it back to the cake to join it on again. So you get a nice smooth semicircle when you do that. Once you've done that on each layer, add some yellow decorations. I'm just using soft sugar pearls that I purchased from the shop. Now add some swirls of frosting around that bottom layer, a bit like drawing an S shape on its side and then use a toothpick to mark where you want your sunflowers to be so that they're evenly spaced. Then pipe from the dot a curve going down, up and around and continue that all the way around and then on the next layer up do the same thing but in the opposite direction. Take some little chocolate drops and cut off the top so that you're left with a little round bit for the center of the flowers. If you can't get chocolate drops in this size, that's fine. Just melt some chocolate and pipe out some little circles. Using yellow buttercream and a star tip, pipe a flower on the side and then just add the chocolate circle to the center. Squeeze out less frosting for the flowers on the next layer up so they're a little bit smaller. Put them all the way around the cake and then smaller again on the top level. Mix in a little blue to the leftover yellow frosting to make green and pipe on a leaf next to each flower. Now you can use a piping tip to do this or I have a whole page on the website showing how you can use just plastic bags to make the tips like this so that you don't need to buy the tips. So if you don't have the tips, just click through the website to find that. 
Now we just need to add a little snow on top. Put something on the very top of the cake to protect it and then using a tea strainer, sprinkle on some icing sugar. Remove that cupcake liner that I had there and then add the ice sculpture picture to the top using a toothpick. And you can print that out in this size from the website. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. Achoo! Bless you, Elsa. Mmm, yum. Achoo! Elsa, thank you, but you have a fever. Let's get you to bed. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here to go to the website for the recipes, here to go to the channel and here for the Elsa, Cinderella or Olaf cake. Have a great week and I'll see you all on Friday.